And here is the Hercules mode. You can see the pixels. This is a circle that I draw, drew with shift pressed. And if we look here, it's about five, four centimeters by, we're in Canada, we measure in centimeters, by five and a half. It's not perfect, as I, I mentioned in the forums, because I have to use um, an integer factor for the linear interpolation. I can't do a bicubic uh, bilinear interpolation. So it's, it's a simpler uh, algorithm that will merge lines together using some pattern like 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1. And then this one line gets merged. You can see here the effect on the scan line. Let me turn off the scan line. You can see that one pixel might get a little stretched, but the, the, the visual it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I had to do this because it's using now 800, 800 by 600. Because when I use 720, the, the screen gets full filled. But on the Hercules, the text mode is eight pixels uh, uh, to the to the right compared to the graphics mode. And then you switch. You have to press these buttons that I you can't see here, but I add buttons that you can move. See, you can move left and right, up and down. Which which is annoying every time you switch between graphics and text. You have to switch. So I did this in linear interpolation. I using a higher resolution. Uh, which yields a, a good result. Uh, I want to talk about a, uh, there's a switch that turns between green, radioactive green, and amber. But th there is a switch when you put in green. You see that's what's happening. I'm using it because I use the same button for the fine tuning and the screen in amber. I don't have many dip switch, so I have to reuse them. What it's, do, it's doing is changing the, the the point where it hits the pixel, and this this happens for all graphics mode because some graphic cards they they have completely different specs, different um, timings, front back port. And you you end up getting these kind of artifacts because you always hit borderline because this is a digital circuit. It will always be hitting the the pixel in, in fixed intervals. And what happens is that this the, this card he has a, the, an offset on the pixels, and then when he hits it, he, sometimes he hits inside a little bit offset, a little bit borderline, and then you get these artifacts. So how to solve them? You just keep pressing the button until you fix them. You can change the if you have if it's your only your your only one board, you can change the code and put these new offsets there. So you don't have to to change them again. But if you keep switching cards like I do, you end up uh, configuring them. Uh, I have set by default this the, the values for 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 stock. CGA IBM for stock uh, Hercules card. It works in my two EGA cards and also a EGA CG, uh, Hercules CGA card. They they are working good. So if you use one of these official and extra official cards, you'll be good. Otherwise, probably it varies from card to card. I can tell the the, the thing. Uh, let's show the. the text mode but this windows is so slow it's not the windows it might be C yes, in fact my the video shows radioactive green but in fact it's not that radioactive it's just a camera effect anyway I like amber let's start the turbo C which is a good pattern test. I like this program because it has many different patterns showing on on screen. Let me reset because I was playing with the values. Here. 
here you can see the text mode with scan lines let me turn off scan lines and that's it it's looking good it's very nice and you can have two monitors in one and that's it thanks for watching